Okay, so welcome aboard and thank you for watching. We're going to be talking about our student athlete research project. I'm Kyle. I'm Kevin. Okay. So for this project, we're just going to give you a little bit of an overview of what the project is and what our findings and recommendations would be. So we have an intro to the study. We have a methodology, a research finding with three constructs. T-tests, correlation, regression, recommendations, and then we'll wrap it up with the review. So in our intro to our study, our study was developed with the sole purpose to see if there was a correlation between student athletes with varying demographics and with the following three constructs, time management, mental health, and relationship quality. Our goal is to gain a better understanding um, the effects of being a student athlete and these three constructs. While considering different demographics such as sports, age, gender, and major. So for methodology, a sampling design, the baseline number we wanted to reach for this survey was 25 participants. We were able to gather 36 total recipients. Samples consisted of entirely USF athletes with a few exceptions. The survey was sent mostly through text among student athletes and there was no incentive given for the study. So our research was on our research. Our research and survey was hosted on surveymonkey.com, a link which was distributed to potential participants. There was a total of 20 questions in our survey, five for each construct and five demographics. For data collections, a Linkert scale was used for the participants to answer. Answers range from strongly agree to strongly disagree. No neutral option was available. Demographic questions included multiple choice and fill in the blank questions. And now I'm gonna turn over to Kevin for our research finding. Thank you, Kyle. So now I'm gonna talk about um, our research findings within our three constructs. So first, here we have time management. So you can see our time management bar chart here. Um, this chart is telling us that student athletes responded negatively to time management questions about 5.6% of the time, which um, conversely tells us that they responded positively 94.4% of the time. So about 95% of the time, um, the student athletes that we surveyed had a positive response to time management and the questions that we posed. Next is mental health. Again, you can see here our bar chart um, displaying all of our responses. Um, this chart tells us that 19.4% of the time respondents answered negatively to our mental health questions that we posed. Um, conversely, again, that tells us that 80.6% of student athletes responded positively to the questions regarding mental health. Um, so this, obviously this is a little um, 19.4 is, is a little bit higher than what we saw in the time management chart. Um, so this tells us that student athletes respond um, about three times higher negatively than they do um, in terms of time management in this chart, mental health. Our last construct, our relationship quality. Um, here you can see a pretty good bell curve within our chart. Um, this chart tells us that just 2.8% of respondents reacted negatively to our questions posed about relationship quality. Um, and again, conversely, about 97.2% of respondents had a positive association um, with the questions we posed about inner team relationships. Um, this is um, very these are very convincing numbers. It tells us that relationships are very, very important to student athletes in general. Next is our first t-test. So our first t-test um, tested the relationship between our three constructs, um, time management, mental health, and relationship quality, and gender. This table shows that as you can see by our significant figures here, there is no significant relationship between any of the three constructs and gender. All three, all of these numbers are above 0.050. Next is our second t-test. Um, this t-test, we wanted to test the, the relationship between our three constructs and any 
given student athletes a major. Um, these majors were again categories as business or other. So this chart again shows, as you can see by our significant figures here, um, they are all above 0 0.050, which tells us that again, there's no significant relationship between our three constructs and this dependent variable, which was um, a student athlete's major. So our correlations, um, our correlations test showed a positive relationship between both mental health and time management on a student athlete's quality of relationships. As you can see here, this number tells us that as time management goes up, um, their relationships get better. And again, as mental health gets better, their relationships also get better. So on average, the better a student athlete's mental health and the better they manage their time, the more healthy their relationships will be with their teammates and coaches overall. Lastly, we're getting to our regression here. So our regression test supported um, our, our correlations test, as you can see by these three tables. So this table shows that with relationship quality being the dependent variable, time management is a significant factor in that. So the better one's time management, the more healthy their relationships will be. And this table shows with mental health, with both mental health and time management being predictors, that the better the, the better their mental health and time management, the more healthy their relationships, which is indicated by the significant figure there. So both time management and mental health are strong predictors of relationship quality. Now back to Kyle for some recommendations and review. Thank you, Calvin. Okay. So for our recommendations and reviews, so based on our research, some of the recommendations that we could make to our student athletes is to maintain a healthy and balanced lifestyle, which includes these. Manage your time more efficiently through prioritization. Maintain a healthy stress level by decompressing with whatever healthy outlet you enjoy. And also make time for family and friends, which goes back to the time management. So a review of our study, in review, we found relationships between both time management and mental health on relationship quality. According to our regression analysis, the better one's time management, the stronger their relationships, the stronger their relationships, the better their mental health. In hindsight, it would have been more beneficial to have more people participate in our survey, and also different schools would have helped because we would have had a bigger variety of sports. And this concludes our presentation. Thank you. And if you have any questions, please let us know. Thank you.